Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome. This is Hill. And we're here today to take another look, review, preview of a mod list available on Wabajack. And this time, it's going to be Path of the Dova King. So we start off again in the realm of Lorcan, just as we did in our last mod review which was of Living Skyrim 4. And there's no coincidence why we're here. The same mod author curated both mod lists, Forgotten Glory. So he has Living Skyrim 4 under his belt and this older mod, Path of the Dovahkiin. So one thing you may notice about this, since it is older, um, you know, the graphics are not quite as vibrant. Uh, it's a plainer looking mod and it is a smaller mod it is a unique mod and that's why it um, you know kind of caught my attention it does things or it does one thing in particular and we will check all that out later that I've never seen in any Skyrim mod before now there's not a whole lot to this I mean this is a, a small mod um, I believe around 300 mods are in this list, somewhere in that area. So let's just uh, listen to what uh, is said about Path of the Dovahkiin. That it's first and foremost a mod list for Skyrim Special Edition. You don't need uh, the Anniversary Edition. And it can be installed using Wabajack, which we have done. Um... If you're looking for riches untold, countless hordes of enemies, and the ability to truly master a dungeon and its layout, and a world with thousands of possibilities, then you've come to the right place. The path you choose will dictate how your adventure unfolds, and you can spend an endless amount of time choosing that path, or make your choices as the piles and piles of loot roll in, it's up to you. So yes, loot. That is one of the unique features in Path of the Dovahkiin, and we will take a look at that again later on. So I've been through most of here, most of the realm of Lorcan, picking the uh, plants and flowers and whatnot. And one thing I, I just wanted to say, I've seen some people do um, reviews of mod list where it does start off in Realm of Lorcan and then they end up going into Skyrim naked. But I do want to point out that there are there's clothing and armor uh, in this area. So if you go up the stairs here into Secunda Hall or Secunda, depending on what part of the world you're in, uh, there's this room here and over here against the wall there are clothing items I mean I don't have any lock picks to, to open this box here but there are um, all sorts of clothing items here so miners clothes tavern clothes scald boots skull gloves leather armor so there is armor here for you to start off with. And let's just put on some of these items here. So yeah, you do not have to go naked into Skyrim. And then there's, there's heavier armor over here that you can collect. Uh, you can also do some crafting. There are iron ingots here in this chest. There are weapons. You know, in the racks here, I'll take this uh, iron axe. So I just wanted to point that out for those of you starting out and maybe not familiar with Realm of Lorcan. But there are ways that you can equip 
your character so that he or she is ready for their adventures in Skyrim. So let's uh, go back down the stairs. A couple things I wanted to point out here with these um, shards here. Um, with Living Skyrim 4, I think all of the shards had locations on them so you knew where you were going. Now here's the red wave below deck. This is Exit Realm of Lorcan. You're kind of guessing. It's going to be a surprise for you. you. You don't really know where you're going. See here? Exit Realm of Lorcan. So you can guess maybe by the uh, surroundings. Here's another one. Exit. As to where you might go. But, uh, you know, it, it for someone that's completely unfamiliar with this mod it is going to be a huge toss-up for you as to where you might end up. Here we go, Realm of Lorcan again. But I believe these are clues. Um, you know, whatever this is on the uh, pillar back here. And if recollection serves me, I believe this is the uh, banner of Whiterun. So where it says exit Lorcan, we're going to go through and see where we end up. So there are, there are I don't know, about 20 or so of these um, entry points into Skyrim. So yes, here we are at Whiterun Stables. And if you, uh, you know, are familiar with some of the markings there, in the realm of Lorcan, you hopefully will end up where you want to be. So uh, here's a, a this is a good starting point uh, for anybody new to the world. And um, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the MCM menu. So as I said, this is an older mod and it is a smaller mod. So there's not a whole lot of. Uh, configurable uh, MCM mods in here but uh, you know you do have some things like quick light smooth cam got the summer mist true directional movement and that's it that's the end of the list so let's go ahead and take a look in white run and see what we've got there As you can see, there are also sky shards uh, in the game there. Port. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. All right, I can say stand aside, but I'm new. You think you can stand against the entire White Run City Guard? The gate's closed. I've got no charm, nothing. So I'll come Save back plans. later. All right, so we can't even get into White Run because. Guess what? This is Path of the Dovahkiin, so you get to the Cloud District very often. we're already uh, on that path of becoming Dragonborn. So the dragons are loose as soon as you enter into uh, Skyrim. Alright, let me just go down here. To go ahead and get ourselves a sky shard. Now, in the um, leveling that I've done, I've changed the configuration of the sky shard so that I get four perk points for every three sky shards that I discover. And I will show you in a moment after. Uh, all this stuff loads up as to why I'm doing all of that. So 
So one thing I would say about the, the graphics here, I mean, things have been overhauled. I mean, Skyrim does look, I'd say, beautiful, yet it's kind of basic. It's, uh, you know, not as uh, refined as uh, some of the uh, later mods. But this, I, you know, I'm satisfied with these, these graphics. Uh, most of the NPCs have been overhauled. Uh, so, you know, there has been some work done to this, even though it is a relatively small mod list. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look, finally, at our skills. So, as you can see, massive amounts of... Uh, perk points needed, massive skill trees here. So we're, we're, we've got Ordinator, and I believe this is also fused with Volkri. So huge list, that's why I, you know, changed my perk distribution so that I would get four points uh, for every three Sky Shards that I discover. And to me, that just makes the game more interesting that I can actually fill out some of these uh, trees and, you know, have the type of character that I'm, I'm looking to create. All right, so we've looked at the uh, skill trees, sky shards, MCM menu. I see if there's anything else that I want to tell you about this. So, it says here that, uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> while we're discovering stuff. So, leveling in this game is, um, you know, different than vanilla. Uh, it uses experience. So, you do have to sleep in order to distribute your perk points. It's not like, you know, if I use my one-handed, that, you know, one-handed skill just levels up, just levels up. Um, it appears to be a cumulation, an, an accumulation of experience as you explore and kill things and uh, complete quests. There is an accumulation of experience and when you sleep, you can then distribute it to the different uh, perks and talents and things that you're, you're looking to unlock. So that's been unique for me. I've uh, not done that before. And I think that is uh, pretty cool. I'll get this a dead skeever. Okay, so. Oh boy. I think, is this going to attack me? He wants to. I have nothing selected here. Let's see. Do I have any spells? I have sparks. And you can see we have. Um, some pretty cool animations. And we will get into more combat uh, later on. Who did we run off to? Some more advanced uh, combat. But, um, you know, like the, the flowers here, they're not as vibrant. Uh, as in later uh, mods and stuff, you know, you don't have the the big, extremely noticeable plants, but they're out here, and they have been slightly overhauled, I I do believe. And here's here's this is a, a strange thing here. Uh, no sound from the Nern root, or Nin root, as some people call it. All right, so it looks like the wolf ran off. All right, I was just going to continue walking towards Riverwood. Um, so, Path of the Dovahkiin is the ultimate ARPG in Skyrim experience, inspired by classic games like Diablo 2 and their modern incarnations. Path of Exile and the Last Epoch. 
Path of the Dovahkiin is full of all the things you'd expect in an ARPG mod list. Huge perk trees, increased enemy variety, and number over a million different pieces of weapons and armor, replayable dungeons, and on that note, I believe the uh, dungeons respawn like every day. So not only do you have hordes of enemies inside these dungeons, um, you can keep going back to the dungeons every day and keep farming and fighting and looting and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's endless character build, fury crafting. Combine this with both we'll performant ready. and pretty graphics. And you have an experience that is quite unique among Skyrim mod lists. Okay, so we're going to move on from this basic level 1 character to a character that I believe is going to be level 11. And here we are with our level 11 Conjurer character. Uh, we have this ghost that follows us around. I can resurrect people from the dead. And we have Feindal. So, some of the things that aren't in this mod list that I guess I should point out is that there are no follower overhauls. So, I can only have one follower at a time. So as a conjurer or necromancer, as some people would prefer to call it, I can have a conjured person or, you know, a, a revived dead zombie person. And I have special boots that give me um, access to this ghost that uh, fights for me. So let's go ahead Guess, am I going the right way? Yeah, we're going this way. We're uh, going to do Bleak Falls Barrow and see how that works. And uh, let's just see. Yeah, the character just turned level 11. And we are getting... You, you probably can't tell. Okay. We are getting um, four perk points uh, for every three Sky Shards that we discover. And I've put most of those in destruction and conjuration. So we have our electrical powers here and also using ice or lightning, whatever you want to call it, lightning and ice. And then for conjuration, uh, for the uh, bound weapon, and we've got some uh, abilities here for raising the dead. Okay, let's see if we can't get up here to Bleak Falls Barrow. So hopefully you will be able to see the increased spawns of the enemies. Oh no, I just lost my... Uh... Oh wow, yeah, look at this. Look at all these enemies. Get him. Oh! I can't move. That's that's the other thing. I'm not sure what mod it is. Oh, I'm about to die. But you get stunned and can't move. I don't know if it's Blunt and Blade or Unguard. Those uh, are the combat mods that are in here. 
but there's something that stuns you and you can't move. All right, so yeah, we get to see the increased spawns. And here's the thing about this mod list. There is so much enchanted loot and gear uh, on the enemies and the chests. So here, here again is the uh, ability to uh, have an immortal ghost fight for you on some armor and 40 points of health and stamina. I'm just going to pick these up. Now this is one thing I don't like about this list is like I have to go through all of the uh, septums to pick them up. But I can pick them all up if I'm using quick loot. And again, we've got more magical items here. These shoes reduce magical resistance of enemies within 15 feet by 25%. Alteration spells and enchantments cost 20% less. So really a lot of uh, enchanted items in the world. And I just find that to be so unique. I, I need to figure out what mod this is that's doing that, or mods. So here we have a shield. Wow, that the time of day passes slower when you're using it. That is amazing. Oh, and I'm over encumbered. Bandal, help me. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Great sword. That, that. And let me just show you the, what, what my character is wearing. So here we have uh, this rare fur armor of amplification, amplify conjuration. So conjuration spells and effects last 30% longer. Magic regenerates 75% faster. When you block an attack, a 5% chance to stagger nearby enemies. I also have this novice hood, pretty basic, 30 points of magicka. These fur bracers, 20 points of magicka. These boots, destruction spells and effects are 15% stronger. Magicka regenerates 75% faster. And this is the immortal ghost that fights for me. It has 40 points of health and stamina. Heavy armor is 17 points more effective and grants 60% resistance to fire. And I've got an amulet of Akatosh where my magic regenerates 25% faster. So it's just an incredible way to play this game. I mean, that's that's all I can say. It's like, I've never seen anything like this. You and it's like, it, it really has me curious to, you know, to perhaps do a playthrough of uh, Skyrim using... Uh, Path of the Dovahkiin. Now, there's not a lot. Probably not. I don't think there's anything as far as like additional quest mods or uh, DLC mods. It's just the the basic uh, Skyrim stuff. But you get to play it differently. Oh boy. A ghost. Oh shoot, Fangdahl's down. Ghost is down. Uh, let's see. How about a flame Etronach? Okay. Is 
by Atronach down already. Alright, looks like everybody else is waking up. Let's put a dire wolf out here. So we've got a body that hasn't been turned to ash. We will reanimate him. Oh no, Vandal. Now, one thing I have noticed about bringing these people back to life is that they do tend to just stand in place. Sometimes they don't follow you. And look at this. What is this dagger? Oops. What, what did I hit? Dagger of the Hidden Serpent. If the target leaves combat within 30 seconds, halves its remaining health. Alright, that'll be enough. Let's go ahead and get inside here. And the default difficulty uh, of this mod is Adept. So that's what we've been playing on. So based on the mods that I have been reviewing, I am going to be putting up a poll to see which one that you all would like me to play uh, for a, a Let's Play adventure. Uh, look at this. Having 150% of or more resistance to an element grants immunity. Wow. 12% chance to reduce the cooldown of your shouts to 3 seconds. Oh, you know what? That's... Oh, no, they already... Already know I'm here. I was going to try to do some sneaky stuff, but... Did we lose our... Yeah, we did. The reanimate... Somebody get her. Okay. All right, so those two are gone. We'll move further in. So again, I can't do the, the quick loot, so you have to pick up each septum at a time. And unfortunately, I have heard that uh, Forgotten Glory is not going to be updating this mod list. Um, again, this mod list, I think, has a lot of uh, potential. If it could, you know, have some modern mods added to it, like uh, Quests of Skyrim would be nice. I, that's I wanted to show off some of those things in um, White Run, but we never got there. You know, the Quest of Skyrim where you can talk to the NPCs and get quests, uh, especially you know early on in your gameplay, that would really be helpful. Oh, it looks like we have the expanded uh, dungeons here. 
which, which will account for uh, a lot of extra enemies. So yeah, there there are no quests of Skyrim. Also, no missives, which would have been very helpful early on. Uh, you know, to do easier missions without having to encounter many, many bandits, as you can uh, already see. All right, so what have we got here? Look at this. So, heavy armor is 12 points more effective. Two-handed attacks, 20% more damage. I mean, th this is just incredible. It's like you don't need to even learn enchanting. It's like you can just pick up this gear and go. So here we have on the shoes, enemy creatures and people within 15 feet have a chance to attack anything nearby. And these gauntlets here take less, 8% less damage from power attacks and bashes. Now, I'm running out of uh, space. And Feindall... Did he die? No, there he is up there. He... I don't know if he's reacting to necromancy, but it really tends to hang back. Anyhow, uh, let's see. What is this? Snake, snake, whale, I believe. And the lighting in the dungeon, as you can see, is uh, very nice, adequate for those of you that like to be able to see, such as myself. Now, I believe I did... I don't know what's going on with Fiendal. I may have brightened the interiors, though, slightly. Uh, you do have quick light, though to help but you know I, I want I want to be able to see and I want my viewers to be able to see hmm. does someone live among the dead all right so the skeevers ran people come on in here where is Feindall seriously I'm gonna have to find another follower yeah pulsing the magic attacks uh, also works for frost and shock oh, I finally remembered it's shock it's not lightning or electricity Oh boy. More powerful than I thought. Let's take the golden claw. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like he has any enchanted items. Now, here's going to be the real test. Has there been any, uh, augmentation done to the Draugr. I'm sure there'll be plenty of them, but can we defeat them? That's not one of them. Oh, here they come. And I can see this guy has, has an enchanted sword. And 
they don't seem to be too susceptible. It's about time, um, Spain doll. Use the staff. Uh, oh, this this had the uh, the silent moons enchant on it. But I just think that is so cool. Wow, I don't think the Draugr. Higher spawns. Oh boy. Oh, oh. All right, thanks for the help. Anyway, let's get let's get our septums and get going. Now who are they both down? Astronaut down there. And let's uh, show off some. Other types of combat, even though it's still conjuration. So that's it. I'm kind of disappointed that they're not more um, Draugr. I thought the, the, the spawns for them were increased, but it seems like it's only uh, like bandits and I've seen giants, lots of wolves. But I, I like the uh, the combat animations. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The lighting. All right, let's. All right. Just an extra. Oh, layer of protection. Oh, he's just going to walk right through there. Okay. All right, Fane doll, come on. the bound bow. Uh-oh. Oh, that's really powerful. Thank you. that woke anybody up. Now, I don't remember the restriction on having a weapon 
and a spell. Um, here I can block by have and have a spell in my hand. But I've seen other mods where I can actually fire the spell. Oh! And have a So, Bleak Falls, enter Inner Sanctum. Let's go. Uh, I'm not sure I recognize this. Where are we? circles. Wow. The choices. This... No, okay, so it looks like they blocked it off. What's going on with Feindall? But at least the ghost is following me. Back to where we were. <laughs> oh boy. And I don't have a key. Yeah, so I, I've seen people get lost in Bleak Falls Barrow and it looks like the same thing has happened to me. I'd have to say I'm not that big a fan of these expansions of the dungeons. I mean, I'm all for making it challenging and having more enemies, but it seems like we're going 
backwards. Kidding me. All right, we'll keep going down. Did I open? Didn't hear anything. Oh. Then is this a dead end, really? take these mushrooms while we're here. All right, well, it does appear that we are gonna be stuck here for a while trying to figure this out. Well, all right, we keep running around in circles. So I'm going to uh, conclude the video here. I must say that um, I really like this mod. It uh, allows me to play Skyrim differently. It has so many enchanted items in it. The combat is exciting. Now there's not a whole lot as far as expansion goes, uh, DLC quests. Um, there are no additional followers, so you know you have to stick with the vanilla ones. But it is a very interesting mod, and I would highly uh, recommend that you try it out. So this has been Hill, and I will catch you later.